Good evening, everybody. Welcome on in. Hi, Kinos. Kinos, how are you? It's slime time. Are you guys ready? Also, I know it looks like a dead fish that's on the camera, but it's, it's just a leaf, I swear. Um, but yeah, we got the axolotl cam up and running today. Oh, hi, Kinos. Also, hey, Sky. Welcome on in. Arigato. Oh. On time, Elu. Aw, uh, Chushu, thank you so much for the sub. I can't believe it's been 20 whole heckin' months. Wow, that's a long time. Thank you for your support. How have you been? Let's see, um, okay, what does that mean? Hey, hey, oh, pay, okay? What, what does that mean? I, I don't understand. I'm not following. Emma, oh, yeah, it looks like the obscure axolotl camera. Yeah, cause... Arigato. <laughs> Here's my Yurima tax. Yurima tax? Your emo tax. Aw, thank you, Kinos, for the sub. I appreciate it. Wow, 25 months. That's that's over two years. Holy shit. Arigato. Your oh, emo won Kuro. sunglasses. Kuro, welcome on in. Thank you so much for the sub. How have you been? Good to have everybody here. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, oh, hell yeah, it is slime time. Let's see. Um, yeah, good to have everybody here. Sorry I haven't streamed much lately. Um, the reason for that is because, well, I talked about it a bit earlier, but I've been having an allergic reaction to my infusion, which I got. So I couldn't, like, I couldn't, like, breathe. I was coughing, so I had to go to the ER. So, like, um, it's been kind of rough, but my voice has kind of come back now. So, I don't know. I feel like my range is different. Like, I can't, like, I don't have as much vocal range anymore, but, um, my voice is at least working now. So here I am. Yeah, let's see. Thank you, Tuishu. Thank you, Kinos. Thank you, Kuro. Let's see. Currently starting through a Pokemon Toho ROM hack. Oh! I was meaning to play those. I think I played a little bit of one a long time ago, but Toho is great. I love Pokemon. I love Toho, so um, Toho Mon is great. Um, but which one is it like based off of? Like, which Pokemon game is it based off? Isn't it like Emerald or something? Or are there multiple? There's multiple Tohomon games, I think. I think that's what they call it, Tohomon. But that's cool. I need to check one of those out. That'd be fun to stream as well. Oh, hell yeah. Here comes Popokyo. Oh, based off Fire Red. Okay. I was I was kind of close. Um, I mean, no, Emerald? No, I was thinking of Leaf Green, not Emerald. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. That makes more sense. Also, wait, did my computer just freeze? Okay, I got scared a little bit there. Uh, I think I think it's fine. But yeah, what's everyone been up to? Um, so I, w I want to talk about um, on the 16th of February this month um, is my stream anniversary. Um, it's been four years. I can't believe it. I, I don't know. It's kind of weird to say because I know I took like a lot of hiatuses or haven't been too active, but it's been four years, so... I'm gonna try and plan something on the 16th. Let me know what you guys want to see, what kind of events, or... I, I don't know. I'm trying to think of what to do for it. Also, hey, welcome on in, Fury the Avenger. It's good to see you. Let's see. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty all right. Um, Like I said earlier, my health has been kind of not too great because I got this infusion and then it turned out I was allergic to it. So, um... Yeah, I had- I, I like, couldn't really breathe for a while, but I'm almost back to normal now. Also, hey, Hypnic Dragomir, thank you so much for the lurk. I hope you are doing well. You have a good evening. I appreciate all of you. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think of what to do for my stream anniversary on the 16th. I'm thinking of maybe doing some karaoke, but it really depends on if my voice gets better. Because like I said, I, I kind of lost like my vocal range. Like I, I could sing lower. But now I can't anymore. It's like it's... I don't know. Something is wrong with my voice. Um, but I do see a rheumatologist just at the end of the month. So hopefully they'll help with my issues. But I mean, I, got, I still gotta figure something out for the 16th. I'm thinking of maybe doing some sort of raffle for like a desk mat. Um, Yurimoto desk mat. Um, and then... Like, I don't, I don't know. Like, would you do it like a lottery? I think we could do something like that and then whoever wins gets a desk mat. What about some kind of game you can play with viewers? That's a good one. Um, I I was actually thinking, okay, is it just me or does the video freeze sometimes? I don't know what's going on. 
um i was thinking about um like maybe jackbox or something but i don't own it so i'd have to buy it so i was like hmm, maybe there's a different game i can play but i think that's a really good idea we could do like mario kart maybe um what other multiplayer games do i have i know i have some oh do i do i sound different i thought that maybe i did but i wasn't sure yeah like Something is definitely wrong with my voice. I think the allergies like permanently damaged it. Well, not like permanently, permanently, but there's some lasting effects. So yeah, sorry about that. I don't, I don't know what to do. I, I don't really know how to fix that. Um, maybe like vocal exercises would help. Let's see. Oh, she sounds the same as always to me. Oh, do I? Okay. Well, now I'm even more confused. <laughs> now I'm even more confused. Um, let's see. Video can't handle the lot of powers. You know, I haven't changed anything about OBS or my programs or anything, so I wonder why it would freeze. I don't know. I don't really have anything running. But, um, yeah, I'll figure out something for the 16th, so make sure to free your schedules, because I know you guys have no life except waiting, waiting for my next stream, so make sure you're free on the 16th. Also, that was a joke. I, I don't really expect you guys to come, but... If you can come, if you are free, we'll we'll have some we'll have a good time. Let's see, um, how are the lottles doing? They're doing really good. Um, I need to clean out their tank, but I mean they're they're good. I just fed them, so it looks it looks kind of dirty because I just fed them, but um, they're they're happy. They're swimmingly well. Um, I didn't mean to imply like you guys don't really have a life. I mean, maybe, maybe it's true. I don't know, but. <laughs> If you want to spend time with me on the 16th, I'll make some time then. Um, I'm thinking I want to stream on Valentine's Day too, on the 14th, because I got nothing else to do. And I think that'd be kind of fun, like... I don't know, what kind of event would you do for Valentine's? Maybe, you know, if I had, like, another camera, I could, um... Make some chocolates on cam, I'm sure my mom would love that. To make a mess of her kitchen. Um... I've actually made chocolates before a long, long time ago, but I don't really remember how. And I don't think they turned out well. Definitely not watch Twitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I hope- yeah, I would hope you have some other plans. I would hope so, but if you don't, I'll be around. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, um... I don't- I don't know, like, I hope you guys have something fun planned for yourself. But, um, I'll be here. I'll be here as always. Um, there's gotta be some sort of, like, Valentine's, like, theme event or game, though. But, um, oh, hey, welcome on in, Kinzo Ru. Hi! Good, um, afternoon. Wait, no, good evening. How are you doing? Sorry if my voice sounds weird. I've been slowly dying for the past two months, so, um, yeah, my voice is kind of dying. But I got some cough drops here. Um, but yeah, I, I figured I would talk about What's going on in my life? Um, ooh, that's a good idea. You could do a Valentine card designing stream. But who do I, like, what, for the viewers? Like, who do I write it to? <laughs> We're like, that, that's, that's, that's the only thing. But, um, you know, that'd actually be a cute idea, I think. If I didn't just send out Christmas cards to everybody, I would offer to send out um, Valentine's cards, but I just sent out Christmas cards, so I'm, I'm, I'm good on cards right now. But see, my voice is also dying in recovery, though. Just need this weekend for like 99% vocal rest. What happened to your voice? Just been streaming, or what happened? Do you get sick? But yeah, I know that feel. Like, allergies... Like, this allergy, like, I don't even know what you're supposed to do about it because the infusion is going to be in my system for, like, five months, maybe six. And it's like, I'm just stuck with it, like, being allergic for months. Like, what do I do? I don't know. Just a cute public card for your fans and viewers. You know, I don't know why I didn't think of that, but yeah, that, that's a good idea. Clown Spin? Hell yeah, I like that username, Clownspin. That reminds me of Clown Piece from Toho. Thank you so much for the sub, Clownspin. Welcome on in. How are you doing? But yeah, maybe I will make a Valentine's card for you guys. That'd be cute. And I'm sorry to hear you've been sick, Kenzo. I sure hope you get better. That sucks. 
Alu. What does wait? What does Alu mean? Is that like a woo? But you're not. This is a no a wooing zone. So you did Alu. Welcome on in, clown. Let's see. Definitely don't stay inside the house like usual. Yeah, yeah. I need to. I need to push myself to go outside more. But every time I leave the house, I get sick. So that's why I don't leave. Let's see. Maybe I'll get a card for Valentine's. I. I will make you all a card. I will make a card on stream for all of you guys. Don't worry, Kinos. I care. I asked. I noticed. Let's see. Um, yeah, I'm physically healthy now, just recovering from the damage. Yeah, like, it really does take some time to fully recover. Like, even if you, like, get better, like, it's still... It hurts your vocal cords. And, like, I feel like I can't sing like I used to because um, of this whole allergy thing. Um... Like I said earlier, I can't, like, reach, like, the lower notes anymore. And, like, I, I, I just can't sing as well. So I'm like, I want to do karaoke for the 16th, but I don't know if I can. But I'll plan on that. Um, I'll plan on that and then do, like, a desk mat giveaway. That'd be cool. Yeah. Maybe, like, everyone who shows up to stream um, gets, like, their name put in a hat. And then at the end of the stream, I draw a name, and then that person will get the desk mat. That, that'd be nice. I think that's, that's a good way of giving back to the community, I think. No destroying your voice against the rules? I can't help it. I, I try not to, but I can't help it. Uh, but yeah, you make, a, you make a good point. We, sh we should take better care of ourselves, huh? Um, has anyone been watching, like, any anime lately? I want to know what's good. What, what am I missing out on? Because I've basically only been watching Free Rin. Um, which, hot take, I think Free Rin, even though it's not done airing yet, um, I think it was anime of the year of 2023. Um, you can, you can, you can hate me for that opinion, but I'm right. Um, let's see, Dungeon Meshi, what's that? Dungeon Meshi, is that, like, I... I think I've heard of it before. You might have um, mentioned it. Oh, welcome on in. Okay, I'm gonna maybe butcher your name. I'm gonna try not to. Um, Tedity, Tedity. That's a cute name. But welcome. I'm glad. I'm glad to have you here, and I'm glad that you agree. Yeah, free run is like. Like it started out kind of slow, and I'm like, okay, it's good, but I don't know if it's like that great. But then it just keeps getting better and better, and like. The character interactions, like, they're very well thought out. Um, it kind of reminds me of Brotherhood in that everything is very well thought out. It's nothing like Brotherhood at all, but it's like, you can tell that they put a lot of thought and, like, foresight into it, I guess, is what I'm at, getting at. Um, and I think that that's why I like that series so much. And Freeman is really endearing because, you know, she's bad with, like, social... Um, cues and interacting with people and, and human relationships and I, I vibe with that um so I, I really like her I plan to cosplay her actually I think it would be really fun to cosplay her because she's just a good character and honestly all the characters in the show are well written all the characters are good it's not just oh, her arigato. free run like you frfr yeah for real for real also thank you so much Raz for the sub I really appreciate it thank you for your support but yeah, um, free- let's see, Trishy says, Freeman herself is very cute. Yeah, she really is. I like her a lot. Let's see, Kinzo says, Ben watching Dead Mouth- Wait, what? Dead- Dead Mount Death Play. Never heard of that. Let's see, Undead Unwanted Adventure. Never heard of that. Wrong way to use healing magic. Never heard of that. But, I mean, they sound like it could be interesting. Although the first two kind of sounded like a tongue twister. <laughs> but maybe I'll check them out if you think I should. But so you had the exact same experience. Tedity, did I say your name right? Because I hope I didn't ruin it. But yeah, like I really think it's anime of the year. Like just the world building and characters are just so good. Um, and I know it's not done airing yet. But even if it gets worse from here on, like it was just so good so far that I still am going to love it. Um, let's see, the usual adventure fantasy dungeon. But they speak a lot about the monsters and silly strategies to cook them. What, like... Is this like a cooking anime? <laughs> that sounds like it could be good. What was that? Oh, what was that cooking anime that was like, it was like really sexy and lewd, but they actually had some really damn good recipes. Uh, Shokugeki. 
no show 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 something food wars yeah yeah that's the english translation but i was thinking of the japanese name hell yeah food wars that was a good one you know i liked the ending song spice i would like to sing that for karaoke at some point i would love to sing that song um let's see they're all pretty good man i need to really catch up on this season then half cooking half comedy i'd be down for that that sounds really cool oh i get it because meshi means like food or meal right in japanese um i started studying japanese again i'm no i'm by no means fluent i'm not an expert but i started picking it up again um i don't know if my method is really that efficient but basically i just read and read and read and i just brute force it if i don't know something i look it up and i just keep reading so i mean worked well enough for me before so i'm trying that method again um but i should probably read like some grammar books or guides huh um well like i did in the beginning but then i just now I just i just read i just read um visual novels and if i don't know something i look it up let's see also a lot of hentai wait Kenzo, what are you talking about? Like, what have you been watching lately? Because <laughs> I didn't need to know that. <laughs> also, a lot of hentai. Okay, okay, keep that to yourself. That's funny. <laughs> My man, yeah. What the hell, Kenzo? <laughs> You're funny. Let's see, I've also been watching an anime from last season that has been incredibly interesting to me and relatable. Well, spit it out, Kinos. What is it? What is it, Kinos? I'll watch it. Oh, I did watch a few episodes of I'm in love with the villainess um, because Poke recommended it and um, it's pretty good. It's a Yuri. It's about basically um, this girl plays this Otome game and she gets reincarnated or like isekai or something into the game and in, it, like it's an Otome game. So you're supposed to date the guys, but she's like, no, I'm in love with the the um, the girl who's like supposed to be your rival. So she just like is obsessed with her and like and like flirts with her and like tries to go after her and it's it's pretty cool um because i you know i like yuri anime but you never really usually see this kind of take on it it's pretty good um it's pretty good let's see um my twitch wasn't loading the stream but now i'm here oh welcome on in tomboy tamer good to have you almost two years Oh, hell yeah, 23 months. Thank you so much for the sub, Tomboy Tamer. I really appreciate it. Thank you, everyone. Oh, Wow, I can't believe it has been that long. But yeah, let's see. Um, I saw a couple of episodes of that level 99 villainous game. It's pretty bad, though. I think that's something else, though. That's not what I'm talking about. Yeah, there's level 99 villainous, and then there's I'm in love with the villainous. They're different, right? Because the one I saw was pretty decent. I mean, I didn't get that far into it, but yeah. Um, let's see what y'all are saying. Um, anime by anime about an in-universe game? Alright, Kinzo, now you're just confusing me. Sorry, I'm small brains. I'm, I just have a very smooth brain. Let's see. Um, we'll be back later. Gotta get dinner for the family. Okay, you take care, Tuishu. Good to have you here, but definitely get some dinner. It is about that time. That anime was Shangri-La Frontier, and it's about a VR gamer like Kirito, except there's no death. The guy just... Wait! I think I know that one. I think I've heard of that. I haven't seen it. I think I know this one. Just plays the worst games in history, but then goes to play a popular MMO. It's funny to me because he's also a no-armor crit build meta like me. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll check that out. Sounds like it could be cool. Yeah, there's like 30 different animes with that premise. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm thinking of something else then. Yeah, there's a few villainous anime this season. I still think Freyron is like the best though. Let's see, I need to watch I'm in Love with the Villainous, one of my homies. Oh, you're talking about a different one. Okay. Yeah, you need to watch it. You need to watch it, Kuro. But I mean, so do I. Like I said, I'm only three episodes in. But I did really like it so far. Um... And honestly, I, I'm kind of in love with the villainess too, because she has a certain charm to her. I want her to bully me. I'd be okay with that. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm kind of vibing with the main girl. Let's see. Shang Shangri. Am I saying that right? 
Shangri-La Frontier Slops. You know, there's actually a doll artist who does like dolls. Um, they're called Shangri-La. Okay, I'm sorry for who, like anyone I offend by butchering that because I cannot pronounce shit. But anyways, um, there's a doll artist um who did um two of my dolls who goes by that name. Um, you know, like like the face up artists, they have like their own like names. Oh, I'm saying it correctly. Oh, okay, good, good. Let's see. Um, oh shit, she finally woke up. Hey, Pei, welcome on in. Yes, I did. Um, it's been awful. I slept, so like I slept like all day, then all night, then all day, and then here I am. So um, there's been I've been sleeping a lot, so I'm trying to fix my sleep schedule and have some energy to stream, but it's been rough. But how have you been, Pei? Solo leveling. I did see that one. Um, is that like an isekai? What's solo leveling? Oh, I said it right? Okay, good, good. Also, it makes me happy when people use the emotes I drew. Thank you, Kuro. I, I know we need more emotes, though. I need to draw some more, but like, I think I'm having a hard time with it because I want to animate them. Because we've got some animated emote slots, but I, I, I don't know. Like, it's, it's hard to draw and animate anything I'm pleased with. Oh, it's like half isekai? You know... <laughs> A lot of people brush off the isekai genre and they're like, oh, it's all just bad. It's so cheesy and awful. And it's like, I, I think I think that there are plenty of awful isekais, but there's plenty of ones that do it really well. Like, um, I mean, y'all would probably disagree with me on this one, but I really like ReZero. Now, were there some episodes which made me want to drop the series because the main character is absolutely insufferable? Yes. If you guys seen it, you know the episode I'm talking about, the castle episode. He was, like, it was so bad. I really had to push myself to get through that. But, um, honestly, ReZero is probably my favorite isekai, like, or one of them. It's, it's up there. Like, it's a really good show. And I don't like how some people will, will dismiss certain shows just because they're of a genre that they don't like. Because, to me, it's not really so much about the story. It's about the execution. Like, it can be really good or really bad, and it can be about the same thing. Like... Like, for example, there's plenty of good, like, Magical Girl series, but then we have, like, Maho Shoujo Sight, which was probably the worst anime I've ever seen, um, and I actually watched all of it, regrettably so, but it's like, okay, the, the concept was good, they just executed it really poorly, but it could have been cool. So, I kind of feel the same way about East Guys, like, yeah, they're not, they're really not trash, there's plenty of trash ones, but they're not all trash. Um... So yeah, I kind of agree with you, Clown Spin. Um, there's some really good ones um, that get overlooked because people just kind of dismiss them. Let's let's see. Um, Iskai Oji san was my favorite, way better than I expected. Ooh, um, haven't heard of that one. Let's see. Still takes place on Earth, but these dungeon portals just open up all over the world in modern day adventures. Have to go in and clear them before the monsters break out. Oh, okay. So it's still on Earth, but they're kind of being warped to something supernatural. Interesting. Maho Shoujo Magical Destroyers. Is that the- wait. What is the Magical Girl one that's airing this season? Yeah, yeah, Kinos knows what I'm talking about. Okay, I got mixed up, Kuro, because I thought you were talking about that one. I, I don't I don't know about Magical Destroyers. But, um... What's the other one? It's, it's the Yuri one, and it's, like, about this, like, sadist villainess who wants to perv on the magical girls and like at first i'm like oh okay this could be cool and now i've heard it's actually just bad i'm like oh that's kind of sad because yuri and magical girls could make for an awesome combination Arigato. but yeah hiya yuri hiya hiya piper yeah thank you so much for the sub i really appreciate your support how have you been how have you been yeah yeah you're right crew it's uh maho shoujo niyako garete yeah, that's the one. That's the one I'm talking about. That's the one Kinos is talking about. Has a shockingly high score on my anime list? Why? Because I've seen clips of it, and it did not seem good. Like, maybe if it's like, you're in the mood to watch a shitty hentai, like almost hentai. But, I- okay, maybe I'm judging it. We just talked about not judging anime, but, um... I don't know. I, I heard it wasn't as good as it could have been. As it could have been. Let's see. Um, I've been okay. Well, I'm glad to hear that. You got any 
plans for the rest of the week? Wait, what what day is it? It's Thursday. Oh man, the week's already almost over. Tomorrow's Friday. Tomorrow's Friday. Um, that reminds me, remember a while back there was another um anime that wasn't a hentai, but it was like almost a hentai. And people were like, oh, this is so forward thinking. Um, and it got like a really high rating on my anime list, but then nobody ever talked about it since. Do you know the one I'm talking about? What was that one? Had like angels and demons in it. I know that doesn't narrow it down. I'm naming like 10 animes. <laughs> no, there was like one that like got like super popular. I had an angel that was a um, like a trap or something. I don't remember. Platinum's End. I don't know if that was it. Um, all I know is that, no, not High School D DxD, no. It was like, what was it? It was like a few years ago, maybe, like two or three years ago. Anyways, it got a really high rating on my anime list, and I'm like, why? Why? Um, so I'm, I'm thinking, yeah, that one, Tomboy, Tomboy Tamer got it. You show Zoku to viewers, yeah, yeah, that one. Platinum End was good until it wasn't. Oh, that's always a disappointment when it starts off promising and then it doesn't follow through. Yeah, that one was the one I'm talking about. Wait, what do you mean, oh no? I didn't watch it, I just heard that it was like, overrated. What do you mean, oh no? <laughs> yeah, I, also, why were you able to pull, pull up what I was thinking? How did you know? Oh, was it just a meme? I thought people were serious. No, I thought people really thought it was like the best. It was a Mei Mei? I got tricked? Well, geez. Um, you enjoyed it? I'm, yeah, I'm sure you did. <laughs> it was alright? Okay. Well, I probably won't watch it. I've got a lot on my plate to watch. Um... What else have I been watching? Um, uh, Mahotsukai Precure? I don't think we have any Precure enjoyers in chat, but I'd be pleasantly surprised if we did. Um... I like Precure, but I only- I didn't, like, really keep up with it. Like, I watched- I think the first Precure I ever watched was Smile Precure. Um, I liked Doki Doki Precure. Um... Watched a bit of Sweet Precure, watched a bit of Heart Catch. Didn't finish either of those. Um, but then I, wa I started Mahotsukai Precure, which is really cute because, um... Oh, what's her name? Now I can't think of her name. Who, do who, who does the voice? I mean, hold on, let me just look it up real quick. Who does the voices? Because that was the reason I watched it, is because I was like... Oh, um, I really like these seiyu. Okay, okay, just... Arigato. W O O O O O subs to the May. How is the May? Hope the May is good. I didn't get into Magical Girls after Sailor Moon until I discovered Madoka Magica. Madoka Magica is really good. Um, I'm still trying to find the Seiyu I was talking about, but thank you so much. Thank you so much for the sub, Homu. How are you doing? Um, wow, it's been 21 months. I can't believe it. Thank you. But yeah, I'm doing. I'm doing well. Um, Madoka Magica. I was already into Magical Girls, but Madoka Magica was like, um, was really good. Um, and that's one of my favorites too, because my, my waifu, Homura. Um, wait, what did Kuro mean by the voices? What voices? Are you okay? Oh, you're talking about the, the voices of the characters. Okay, you got me confused for a second. <laughs> I, I, I was so confused for a second. No, no, no. Okay, so, um... The girls, the girls who, who are the main characters, um, Mirai, is voiced by Ria Takahashi, who does, um, the voice of Megumin, who does the voice of Emilia from ReZero. Like, you know, you you guys know Ria Takahashi, so that's why I want to watch it, is because I'm like, oh, I love her. And then the voice of Liko is voiced by Yui Horia. Yu Yui Horia, who does, um, oh, what's her name? From Monogatari. Tsubasa Hanekawa. She does that. She did Ayu from Canon. She did um, all sorts of roles. I actually saw her live once. I saw Yui, Yui live. She's very cool. I like her. Um, 
Oh yeah, she did like some songs from her like OC anime thing, like Miss Monocomb, she sang. Um, yeah, she- so yeah, that's the reason I started Mahotsukai Pre- Precure is because of the Seiyu. Let's see, they have one more damn month to give up while Pregus no Kaiten because they promised winter 2024. What are you talking about? What do you mean, give up? If, if we've got till winter, what do you mean they have one more month? I'm so confused. Wait, don't the- Oh! You mean because it's still winter? I thought you meant winter at the end of the year. Okay, I, I'm a brainlet. Sorry, small brain. Please ignore me. Also, what is wrong with this axolotl? What the hell? Look at him. He Look at everybody point and laugh. What is wrong with this axolotl? Oh yeah, she also did Minori from Toradora. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Yui Horia is great. She has such a distinct and wonderful voice. Oh, you remembered his name. Yeah, it's PJ. PJ. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry I missed your message. Poke said boo. I'm sorry I missed it. Welcome on in. How are you doing, Poke? How have you been? Well, I know things have been rough for you, but I hope that things have been getting better. Bro's like, Mom said it's my turn on this stream. <laughs> yeah, he really did. He really did. He just wanted to be on the camera. Ah, oh, now you guys hurt his feelings. Now he's leaving. Why oh, you gotta go and hurt his feelings? What? I know. I do not ignore you. What are you What are you talking about, Poke? What are you on? You're, you're in Sano mode. I do not- I do not ignore anybody. Well, at least I try not to. If I do, then just let me know that I did and I will say something. But sometimes I just like read the text and I don't always read the username, so I miss like when someone comes in. And now you guys hurt PJ's feelings. How could you? Um... Hold on, let me check something. Let's see, what else was I going to talk about today? Let's see, literally all the time, never had me respond to any of my messages. What am I doing right now then? Are you in Sano mode? You're literally gaslighting me every every single goddamn time. But yeah, speaking of anime, I, um... Oh, Poke, you missed us talking about anime, but, um... Has, in has anyone else seen the announcement for the new season of Monogatari? And I am, like, ex so, ex so excited for that. Um... I love, like, I love the Monogatari series. I remember seeing Kizu Monogatari in theater. And I I don't know if you guys saw on Twitter, I posted my Shinobu figure collection. Because she's best girl. Shinobu is best girl. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I'm excited for the new season of Monogatari that comes out this this year. Actually, I think there's two new seasons coming out. Yeah. Um, this year, there's actually going to be two, I think. Um, I forget what they're called. Like, whose arc it is. But there's there's two. How is it still going? That is a good question. I have no idea. Because people give the people what they want. Let's see, Kuro says, I haven't watched any of the Gataris, but some of my friends were hyped about it. Yeah, I'm really hyped about it. Um. And I like, um. I, I have like a bunch of Shinobu figures. And I have like this one of... This plushie of Homura cosplaying Senjo Gahara. Because I did like a Mato Gatari crossover is what they called it. Madoka and Mono Gatari crossover. And um... So they did like... Like for example I have a figure of Shinobu and Mami... In Mami's um, outfit. And so... Yeah they... I don't know. They just did a lot of merch which was like crossover between the two series which I think was cool. But um... Yeah I'm excited for Mono Gatari. Um... There was something else that was announced that I wanted to watch, but I can't remember what it was. Actually, was it the new ReZero season? Maybe it was that. Because I know you guys post about that on my server. Which, by the way, if anyone wants to be in the Discord server and you're not already, feel free to join. It's cozy. Let's see, I'll have to look it up in a bit and add the new seasons to the list. Yeah, yeah, I need to So, I actually started re-watching it because it's been a while since I've seen it, so... I'm like, well, I want to remember everything properly before the new seasons come out, so I re restarted watching it. But that's going to take a while, because there's quite a lot of content already. Um, but yeah, I I'm excited for that. What else is coming out this year? There was like... There was something somebody posted about that I was like, oh, hell yeah. Let's see, I got a... 
we about Jujutsu Kaisen soon so I can watch season 2? I've heard so much about that, but I don't know if it's my type of thing, but is it, like, do you think I would like it? Because I've heard so much about it. And then it's really good. Let's see, November and December are part of the fall season. Oh. Oh, because I was thinking, like, winter won't be till December, so, like, what do you mean we only got one month? That's why I was confused. Okay, okay, so by winter they mean January through March. Well then, what's the hold up? What, what, what's the hold up then? Because I want to watch the new um, Madoka movie. Hell yeah. Rebellion was like, Rebellion was so good, but it, it left things feeling a bit unfinished. And so I'm like, what's taking them so long? Because like, they, they kind of left it open un ended. I don't want to spoil it for people who didn't see it, but like, Rebellion was really kind of open ended, and we there was like a lot that they could go from from there with it but they just didn't like how long has it been since that came out like like several years if not a decade let's see let's see from what i can tell from your taste is probably not your type but it's good yeah i feel like a lot of people like maybe you um enjoy a lot more like variety than i do like i'm i'm a bit more picky well i do like a lot of different type of genres but i i'm still like kind of picky and selective if that makes sense but, um, yeah, there's a lot of exciting stuff coming out this year. Um, also, this is kind of off topic, but it, it reminded me. Um, does anyone remember Kyoani, the, like, whole fire incident, like, a, from a few years ago? Um, which, it was really sad, like, he ended up killing, like, like, 30-something people. Don't quote me on that, because I don't remember the exact number. But it's like, oh my god, like, it's literally an anime, like, get over yourself, like, yeah, it, w it really was nuts. Like, anyway, I heard he's being sentenced to death, um, the guy who, start who started the fire. And I want to know what took so long, I mean, I guess the legal system is really slow. But that that's what I heard, La that's the last thing I heard about it was recently was that he's being sentenced to death, and I'm like, honestly? I kind of agree with it, because he killed so many people, and it's like, he's he's a psychopath. Let's see, it took them 10 years? Has it really been 10 years since Rebellion? No way! And like, you can't tell me that- it, You can't tell me that it wasn't popular enough to warrant a movie sooner than 10 years later. Like, come on. Yeah, was it really 10 years? Because... It was a popular series, it's not like some niche thing that like, oh, well, this will never get a sequel, you know what I'm saying? Let's see, um, I've been growing my portfolio, that's good. Let's see, I used to be romance only, that was nuts. Um, I used to watch a lot of, like, Hanum roman romance anime, but not so much anymore. Not so much anymore, because best girl never wins! Well, sometimes she does, but usually she doesn't. But yeah, you're right, it would have taken way longer if it happened in America, oh my god, everything... America legal system is just so slow with everything, it's, it's ridiculous, it's insane on mode. Wait, I- wait, okay, I think she meant 10 years for the Madoka Rebellion movie. Um, cause the Kyoani thing, I don't think that was 10 years ago. That was like- When was the- when was that? Hold on, let me look it up. Cause the 10 years ago, I think we're talking about Madoka Magica movie. Let me see, um, when was the- Kyoani fire- When was that? Oh, that was 2019. So- 2019, I can do math. Um, that was five years ago. So, yeah, this guy's been waiting for his death sentence for five years. Let's see. On that, uh, is that fairly quick though? How long does a death sentence normally take? They'll be like, this man killed his entire family and 20 more people. I wonder what we should do. Hmm. Yeah, like I heard about. Okay, so I don't want to like make the mood too like grim but i heard about some russian streamer who like killed his pregnant girlfriend and he only got six years in prison like what only six years like and don't quote me on that because i didn't read the full article so i don't know what really happened but it's like bruh how can you like kill somebody and only get six years in prison like how is that okay that that that's insane o mode to me like that's like this person is like should not be out on the streets um yeah hard choices indeed that was sarcasm. Um, I would have thought so at least by modern standards. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, 10 years was, was the Monaco Rebellion movie. 
which I'm actually really sad I didn't see Rebellion in theaters. I really missed out because that would have been awesome to see in theaters. Let's see, depends on the place. Some places it can take decades, other places it happens quick. Well, um, I guess Japan wasn't fucking around because it only took them five years. Let's see, six years is crazy. Bro can do that another five to six times before his time's up. Oh no, I hope he doesn't get that idea. I hope he doesn't get that in his head. Hello, Hello. yes, well. F-S-O-F-O-O-E-O-O-E-O-E-O-E-O-E-O-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-
Like, there's just so many things, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I agree with you that obviously they'd still deserve punishment, but probably not death. But this guy who set the Kyoani on fire, I, I am, I'm, I'm actually kind of thinking that he might deserve it. But that's just my opinion, which I respect. Let's see, J Tim says, I don't wear pants at the gym, what do you wear then? Let's see, very proud, good work. Oh, thank you, Poke, that means a lot to me. Because it's been really hard, like, honestly, it's been hard even just to wake up and, like, you know, God really makes each day harder than the last. You know, life is just rough. But I'm like, you know, I, I should try and get to the gym and exercise because then it'll help with my energy levels, you know, to be good for me overall. That's pretty based? What do you mean? How's it based? I don't understand. But, you know, but you say that, Poke? Okay, well, you said... I mean, yeah, someone that's in their right mind that kills that many people deliberately doesn't- does deserve the death penalty. And I agree with that, but at the same time... So we always have all these people who are like, Okay, he killed someone, but he was insane! Okay, but yeah. You have to be insane to want to kill somebody. So it's like... Like, unless it's like an act of self-defense or there was a really damn good reason for it, then I would believe that yes, all killers do have probably a mental illness or two or three. Because that's not a normal thing to do. Killing someone isn't normal. Like, again, unless it's like in self-defense or like a very good reason, then yeah, like you've got to be mentally ill. You've got to be insane. So I don't really think that that's a good excuse because then everybody would get away with it, right? Because like inherently, like you get what I'm saying? You picking up what I'm putting down? Let's see. Um, Bro just pulls up to the pen. The gym with no pants. I could never. Hey, I mean, let's not judge. Let's not judge. Let's see. They released a trailer in September last year, so I'm guessing the movie is done. Yeah, I saw the trailer. Was that really in September? It felt like more recently. I saw the trailer. It was really good. I'm excited for it. So, like, where the fuck is the movie? <laughs> I killed 30 people in self-defense. New Mr. Beast title? Oh my god, you're funny. I tune back in and hear, killing someone isn't normal. Well, yes, yeah, guy. Was it supposed to be? Is it supposed to be normal? I'm confused. Yeah, we're just talking about the guy who um, set the fire on the Kyoani um, in 2019. And I was saying how... And we're talking about like, what if they had like mental illness or something? And I'm like, well, yeah, they had to have had mental illness. That's what I'm saying. Not saying mental illness makes you violent or that that justifies those things. But, like, something is going on in your head if you decide it's right to kill somebody, is all I'm saying. Let's see, and it's been going on three years since they announced the damn thing, so Madoka... Magica is turning 13 soon, yeah. I guess it is. In theory, what if the murder victim took the murderer's last chicken nugget? Okay. Okay. Uh, that might be- that might be a little bit of a different case there. Let's see, I don't know, um... I struggle a lot with the morality of the death penalty. I struggle to say something like that is right in most cases. No, I agree with you, Poke. I do agree with you, because... I mean, that's like... It's a serious decision, and that's why I'm not in charge of these things, because I am not educated enough to make decisions like that, so th I'm just spouting my opinion. But yeah, I, I agree. It's not something to be taken lightly at all. Let's see, schizophrenics are less likely to attack other people than the average population. I could believe that, yeah. Um, I think uh, that there's a lot of, like, negative stigma about mental illness that, like, you know, you see these movies and they, like, portray them as, like, these evil people and it's like, that's really oh, not realistic. Um, most most of them are harmless. Also, thank you so much, Kinzel, for the sub. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Oh, wait, that was from Homu. My bad. I, I Well, thank you either way. Thank you, Homu, for the gift sub to Kinzel. I really appreciate it and sorry for messing that up. Um... But yeah, like, it is kind of sad how, like, there's, like, that stigma ab against, like, schizophrenic people. And it's, like, really, they, they are, most of them are harmless. Like, I would say less, they're less dangerous than, like, your average person, you know? If not about the same. Let's see, um, Crow says it's justified. <laughs> Let's see, May talking about showing up with no pants. What? Well, I mean, like, I wear, like, leggings and shorts. What? So May just gonna go to the gym in her shirt, shoes, and socks, and her panties? No, I didn't say that. That's not what I'm saying. No, no, no. I wear leggings and shorts. You're insano mode. You're insano mode. 
I mean... But, oh, but speaking of the gym, um, when I go to the gym, um, so I've been walking on the treadmill, but then also, uh, there's this thing called red light therapy. Does anyone know anything about that? Like, if it's legit? Because everyone's like, um, Homo needs some water? Yeah, she does. I'm gonna take some water, too. Hold on. She call me Yuri the way I get Mo, too, money. What does that even mean, Ikatu? What does that even mean? But thank you so much for the sub, Ikatu. I really appreciated it. 34 months? Holy shit, you've been around for a while. Man, thank you, Ikatu. I really appreciate it. Um, But what does that mean? She call me Yuri the way I get Moto money? I mean, thank you? But um, what was I saying? So I went to a gym and there's like a red light therapy thing. And um, there's some research that... Uh, it helps with multiple sclerosis pain. And not just that, it also helps with like like your skin, like aging and wrinkles. Not that I have any wrinkles, but I think it's like preventative. Um, I probably pronounced that wrong. But anyway, it's really interesting. So I tried doing the red light therapy thing. It's basically you just stand there in this like thing that like you're just surrounded with red light. And like oh apparently it helps. May forgetting to get dressed when she goes to the gym. Can't say I'm surprised. Oh no, that's not what I said, Poke. That's not what I said, Poke. But thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. But you're wrong about me. You're wrong about me. But thank you for your support. Um. Oh yeah, Homo, I know you're just messing. <laughs> it's fine. You're all good. Um. But yeah, um. Oh, that's what you meant by Homo needs some water. I didn't even get what you were saying. Okay. But yeah, I tried the red light therapy at the gym and I heard it's really good for things like that. Has anyone ever tried it? Has anyone, um... Does anyone know anything about it? Because it's kind of a new thing. Like, not all gyms will have a thing for that. I think it's like the only gym in my area that really has it. And even others of the same chain don't have that. Mm. Sorry, just drinking some water. Actually, let me take another cough drop. It sounds kind of weird. It is kind of weird. So that's why I'm like, is it legit? Like, that's why I was wondering you guys' opinions. Because I'm like, is it legit? Or is this some sort of scam? Is it just like... A placebo effect or something? I don't know. Also, I wasn't approving the message, Poke. You're wrong. Yeah. Well... Let's see. Lots of people swear by it. I think there are studies. Yeah, but... I haven't really looked into it myself, so I didn't know. But yeah, I have heard a lot of people who have sweared by it. But it's like... People swear by a lot of things, right? Let's see, it's not a particularly new tech. It's been around for ages. It's a bit more recent that it's become more accessible. A lot of studies have shown it's really helpful for various conditions, though, even when compared to a placebo. Oh, okay. I mean, I've been doing it. I figure it won't hurt. Like, all you do is stand there for like 12 minutes, so it's like... Um, it may not help, but it can't hurt, probably. It's kind of interesting. So I've been doing that. But yeah, don't forget to go to the gym. Gotta, gotta get those workouts in. Although I kind of want to get some weights and just work out at home. But I don't really know how to lift weights properly. I'll probably hurt myself, so I've not really been doing that. I just walk. Because like... You know, like, you always hear about people who, like, injure their back or something because they lifted it, lifted it wrong? Hmm. Sorry, I'm just taking a drink of water. But, yeah. Um, I've been trying to be more productive lately. So far, so good, I guess. Uh, what else was I gonna talk about? Wait, let me check something. Oh, welcome new friends uh it's not telling me your username because i'm in a uh, streamer mode but whoever joined the discord welcome on in and anyone else who hasn't joined the discord welcome on in if you if you want to join uh honestly i like that it's not like one of those huge servers with with like a billion people in it because then it feels like kind of more tight-knit and cozy like it's like enough people for it to be active but not so many that like we don't know each other so i really appreciate my community so yeah not just on discord but just on twitch and twitter in general i really appreciate you guys so i want to do like more community events 
Um, I was thinking maybe for the 16th, my stream anniversary, um... I want to do- maybe not then, maybe- maybe I'll do it for Valentine's? I don't know, at some point I want to get together in like VR chat and like just hang out with you guys, maybe not on stream, but like just hanging out. We could all like voice chat in a private world or something. I think that'd be fun. We'd have to somehow limit who gets in though, like to just like who's in the Discord, just so like we don't get any trolls, you know? But, um... It would be fun to hang out in VR with you guys. I really think so. I would love to do that. Maybe I'll plan something like that, like for a community night. Or we could do like a community like watch along, watch together, whatever it's called thing. What? There's not 20 million people in it. There's only... Does it tell me how many people are in it? Um... Less than 100, almost 100, but less than 100 people are in it, which is actually kind of surprising. I thought there would be more. Or, sorry, I thought there would be less. I'm, I'm actually surprised that that many people have joined. But yeah, we could have a community rap battle. Yeah, hell yeah. Ika 2, I think you'd win. Ika 2, Ika 2, um, he, he would do, he would probably be the best at rapping. I just feel like it because he's, he has a way with words. You know what I'm saying? Everything Ikatu writes is like a poem to my heart. Not really. Oh, let's see. Um, oh, that would be cool. I could get my VR headset out again. Yeah, what kind of VR headset do you have anyways? Um, which one do you use? I have a... What's it called? Oculus Quest 2? I think is the one I have. I've got the Index. Which one is that? Um... Is that better or worse? That's a more expensive one, I think. I think that one's better than the Quest 2. Oh, it's the Valve one. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And now, I, now I'm familiar. I remember now, I remember now. What does Holy Glaze mean? Glaze? Like, glazed donuts? I could go for a glazed donut right now from, from Krispy Kreme. Let's see. Um, I think it's better, but I don't know. I'm on demon mode, gang? What does that mean? Ikatu, if you're gonna act out, I'm gonna bonk you. If you act out, I will bonk you. Don't hesitate. Actually, let me make sure sound alerts are even on. Um, I think they are. Yeah, don't act out. Don't act out. Glazed donuts are, like, the best. Well, I also like... You know, the Krispy Kreme donuts have, like, custard in them. Those are really good. And, like, the, 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 the chocolate on top, that's really good. But, honestly... Wow, why'd you bonk? Are we- are you bonking- are you bonking me or are you bonking Ikatu? But, um... Yeah, Ikatu deserves the bonk. What do you mean, do it, I'm him? <laughs> you're unhinged is what you are. Wait, you're bonking me? I thought you were bonking Ikatu. Hey, that's rude. That's rude. I didn't do anything to deserve that. Ryder for real? What does that even mean? You know... What? what? Why are you bonking me? Stop! Kino, stop! You know, I didn't understand what you're meant. Because you know how, like, Ikatu and Jtim and, uh, the fiery one, they always come in here? And they're like, you're... And I'm like, what the hell does that even mean? Because I'm like, you're, you're Emoto, right? And I'm like, what the fuck is your mean? Um. Ah, oh, KCG too! KCG, welcome on in! Yes, KCG, you do that as well. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to forgore you. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to forgore you. Anyways, I kind of finally learned what it meant. Because I saw like a video and some person used it as like a greeting. So it's like some way to say hi, I guess. Stop bonking me! What the hell? Also, hey, KCG, welcome on in. But be nice. Please do not bonk bonk the May. You can bonk Ikatu though. Okay, rude. Are, are you happy using your channel points that way? Are you guys satisfied? Wasting your channel po points to give me a concussion? Always bonk the May. That's just rude. Okay, guys, stop. <laughs> if I had more, I would keep bonking. Oof, okay, well, I, 
Guys, please, I already have brain damage. I mean, I'm a V-tumor. We know I have brain damage. I don't need more. It's, it's bad enough. We need to break you more? I am already a very broken person. I'm broken. I need someone to pick up the pieces. Please help. This is a cry for help. Homu, why? You guys need a new hobby. Okay, we need to get some new sound alerts. Actually, that reminds me, um, we were gonna add the, like, shower sound, weren't we? Because, hey, what the hell? Stop. Okay, two big sips. Okay, fine, fine. Two big sips. I'll take the sip. Do not refund the box! No, because then they'll just do it again. Stop. Anyways, I need- I need some more ideas for the sound alerts of what to add. Kinos, I'm just gonna ignore you. Stop bonking me. Um, let's see. It's like when trying to fix a PC, sometimes if you hit it enough, it works again. Honestly, same. Works on my girlfriend, too. Like, um, but yeah, with the PC, like, sometimes I'll have an issue, and literally, I will just kick it, and it will fix it. And same with the girlfriend. Like, if I tell her to, to make dinner, and she don't make it, just gotta hit her a few times, gets her right back in the kitchen. Hey, I'm joking! I don't have a girlfriend! Stop! <laughs> I do, I do, I do kick the, the PC, but I don't kick, I don't hurt women. I respect women. Stop! I respect women! <laughs> yeah, Raz is actually alive. I don't know, sometimes I wonder if he's not, but sometimes he'll occasionally show up. What's a add Kanye sound effect? What's what's a Kanye sound effect? Am I based? I don't know. I was just kidding. I swear. I I, I just meant in Minecraft. I meant in Minecraft. May out here making it hard to find her a cute girl to date. No, women love me. May out here being an abuser. It's a joke. It's a joke, Don. I think this bonk is especially deserved. Okay, that was rude, KCD. That was rude. She's a 10, but she hits people. I just hit myself. What? No, I, I don't hit people. Stop. It was a joke. Why bonk? Okay, do not... Okay, Raz, do not refund the bonks. Everyone gets their channel points taken because they put me through all this abuse. Okay, guys. Okay, guys, get a new hobby already. Get a new hobby. Sorry for coughing. I hope I wasn't too loud. Um, my voice is dying. Stop! Okay, she's a 10, but she eats mold. Okay, okay, I will confess to that one. I, I, I do have to admit. Although I try not to anymore. Although my mom- Okay, stop! KCG, stop! My mom tried to, like, make me eat this rice, and I, like, opened it up. And, like, it literally smelled like- Like, something like- Smelled like something dead. But I still ate it. I didn't get sick, so I don't know. I think I'll be okay. But yeah, like, rice goes bad pretty quickly, I guess. Stop with the sink! Oh my god. Oh, OMG. Since you guys keep a asking, here's current picture of my sink. I swear, swear on gamer. Leave me alone. JTim, why? Um, I'm trying to think, though. I haven't really eaten mold in a while except for that rice i guess let's see i love hitting women in minecraft and getting bonked thank you for adding in minecraft <laughs> i don't even play minecraft anymore i really should though wait does rice really go bad after 18 hours are you memeing me wait are you joking because like it was longer than 18 hours no wonder it smelled weird it was like two days, I think. I don't know. No, it was longer than two days. Because it smelled weird. I don't believe that rice goes bad after 18 hours. I don't know if I- I don't know if I believe that. What do you mean, yikes? I'm still alive. Didn't kill me. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. It's building up my immune system. Oh, room temperature? No, it was in the fridge, but, um, it was, like, maybe a week old. 
What's the incriminating evidence? I'm scared to click that. <laughs> you made a clip of incriminating evidence? Oh no. If something smells weird, why would you eat it, dog? Well, I mean, that's a good question. That's a good question, but uh, I was hungry and there was nothing else to eat, okay? Stop! See, but can't hold my rice on the fridge for more than two days. Also, it becomes slimy. Slimy like a salamander? Slimy like a slimy little axolotl? What? Why is it slimy? That's kind of weird. Although the rice I ate did look kind of weird. Like, like it's like the... T okay, so like when I dug into it, like the middle part, you could like clearly see the different rice grains were like separated. But on the top, it kind of had like formed like one piece. Does that make sense? Like, is what I'm saying making sense? It's like as if the rice grains like became one one solid thing. Your rice is cooked? Well, so was mine. I don't know. I probably shouldn't have eaten that. I was going to eat it tonight, but maybe I won't. You guys are making me question it. You guys are making me think I shouldn't eat that tonight. I'll figure something else out for dinner. We'll figure it out. Um... What games y'all been playing recently? I want to play more Pokemon. I haven't played Pokemon in a bit because I wanted to stream it. And I haven't streamed lately, so I'm like... I'm putting Pokemon on hold so that I can, you know, defeat it. Finish it, um... On stream. You are a very interesting specimen. Yes, I am. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You know, you're not the only one who said that. Some people are like, May, how are you alive? And I'm like... They're like, how do you exist, like, as a person? I'm like, I honestly don't know. Monster Hunter World, oh yeah, yeah! You know, Morgan told me he was playing Monster Hunter World too. Um, I have Monster Hunter World, but I mostly played Rise. I honestly didn't play much of World, but I'd be okay with picking it up again. Um, let's see, Persona 3 Re Reload has been good. Have you played that yet? No, but, um, okay, so I, I cancelled my Game Pass, the Xbox Game Pass, and then, uh, Homu actually gifted me Nitro on Discord. And that came with three months of a game pass for free. So I noticed that Persona 3 Reload is apparently on there. So I've been thinking of playing it. Because um, as long as I can beat it in three months, uh, I then I can play it. Yeah. I just don't want to like start and then get it like removed halfway through. Because I ain't paying for that. I'm not, I'm not going to pay for a subscription. But if I can defeat it in three months, then um, yeah, I could play it. Um, I've heard it's really good. Let's see, rice is made with lots of water, which is why it molds easily. Oh, well, I guess that that does make sense. That does make sense. Kino says, if you do, let me know so we can ubu some dino roars. I would love to play together. I would love to. Um, Do you have it on PC or PS4? I think I have it on both. I have it on both, so it doesn't really matter. I just need to know which one to pick up. Let's see, yeah, you might be better off just buying the game, to be honest. Really? Will it take lo longer than three months to beat, you think? Is it that long? Oh, you have it on PC? Okay, good. That works easier for me. That works easier for me. Um. Hmm. How much is Persona 3 Reload with all the DLC? Because I'm the kind of person who, like, I want all the DLC. Because otherwise it's like, I feel like I'm missing out on the game. Unless it's like something like skins or like a pet or something like that. Then it's like, okay, whatever, I don't need that. But if it's like actually, con if it's like content or story, then I want the DLC. So it's like, hmm. Let's see. If you play it every day, you'll get through it easily enough. But I know your sleep schedule hasn't been great, so I don't know if you'd get through it. Yeah, probably not. Because like, I was also thinking I wanted to stream it. So then I couldn't play it. Well, I guess I could, but it just feels wrong to play it off stream if it's something I'm streaming. Um, so yeah, three months might not be enough because it's been hard to stay consistent. Oh, the DLC is just cosmetics, artwork, and soundtrack. Oh, okay, okay, because I know some of the other um, Persona games had, had DLC, which was like part of the story, I think. Which one was that? Was it Persona 5? I, I can't remember. I was playing one of them on the Game Pass and then it got removed. And I got so mad because I'm like, I'm in the middle of this. I'm enjoying it. And then Game Pass just goes and removes it. And I have no way of even getting my save file to like transfer. So that that really upset me. Um, Let's see, the DLC does give you some Personas as well. But I don't think there's a DLC that gives you more game content. 
Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, well, I would like those, but it's okay. I can live without it. There's a solid rumor it'll get content DLC later in the year. Then should I just wait and play it then? Or what's- what? Because I guess it depends on where the content is. Is the content at the end of the game? Or is it part of the game, like midway? Because if it's a- if it's like part of the game, then I would rather just, um, play it- play it whenever that comes out. Also, what the heck is PJ doing on the- on the screen? Look at that axolotl! He is- he is- he is looking- something wrong with him. I mean, I- I'm not trying to judge on appearances, but he just looks kind of silly to me. Let's see, um... One year of Switch Live is only $20. How much is Game Pass, I wonder? Game Pass is like, uh, $10 a month. Um, maybe 11 I don't know. Uh, Game Pass is like $10 a month. But since you gave me the Nitro, I got three months for free. So thank you for that, Homo, actually. Thank you. Um, which is 60 base and 85 with the DLC, but you'll have different prices. Oh, yeah, because you're, you're in the UK. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the content is post-game. Okay, then maybe I'll play it now. Well, I, I mean, I just can't really justify spending all that money on a game right now. But, um... If I play- okay, I have a question. I have Game Pass. Say I play it on Game Pass and then it runs out and then I decide to buy the game later. Can I transfer my save? Like, can I take my save from the Game Pass and then move it to the PC version of it if I buy it on Steam or whatever? Because that's really what's going to sell me on it. Because I would like to- I would like to try it on the Game Pass. I would like to play it now. But if I'm going to be robbed of my save file if I don't just buy the game... Uh, then I don't know what to do. Why would I have to be real careful? What, what do you mean by that, Poke? Oh, no, but you can buy it on Xbox for PC and then- Oh, then my save file would come- Would transfer over. Oh, your internet crashed? What happened, Kuro? That sucks. Good to have you back, though. Um, did you miss anything? We're just talking about some video games that we've been playing recently. Um, we're talking about Persona 3 Reload that just came out. And I was saying how I wanted to play it and it's on Game Pass, but I didn't want to buy it. So I'm asking if, like, I can transfer my save file. Um, but like Kinzo said, I can just buy it on Xbox for a PC. So I guess that works. Like, I'd rather have it on Steam, but either way, it's playable. So I guess it doesn't really matter. It's, it doesn't really matter which one it's on. Um... What, what was the other game we were talking about since Kuro asked? Uh, let me scroll up. Oh yeah, we were also talking about Monster Hunter World. <laughs> JTM, why bonk me? I just got enough of a bonking already. I just got enough bonks already. Um, let me check something. Oh, it's just nothing. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, I have been back on my Wizard 101 grind lately. What is Wizard 101? I have literally never heard of that. What is Wizard 101? Let's see, there might be a way to transfer between the two, but I expect it's very involved. Yeah, kind of like what happened with like, um, so I was playing Elden Ring. And I have two Windows profiles. Um, I have like a Windows profile for my stream and then I have a personal one and I was playing Elden Ring on my personal one and I'm like, well, I don't want to just like lose all my data. So let me transfer my Elden Ring save file to my stream one. And they changed the way it worked with like a recent update. Well, I say recent. It was recent at the time. They changed how it worked and you can't just like copy the files over anymore on Elden Ring. Nope. So actually it got fucked up and I just lost my save data. Um, on both. I don't even remember how I managed it. I must have fucked something up. But yeah, I was so upset because I lost my save data for Elden Ring. And I'm like, why wouldn't you just let me copy paste it? Like, why does it matter? I'm not cheating. This is progress I made. Why does it matter? I don't understand. Um, so I don't know if I want to attempt the same with other games because it probably won't work out for me. Let's see, Kuro says Game of Champions? I haven't heard of that. What? Maybe I have, but I forgot. Let's see, the Steam and PC Game Pass options are identical, so you won't miss anything. Okay, that's good to know. 
<laughs> Why does that axolotl look like it's reading your thoughts? He really does. He looks like he just knows something, right? Look at him. He's staring very intently. He's like, bro, I know what you're thinking about. And it's not good. I see you. That's what he's thinking. That's funny. Let's see. Wizard101 was like 80% of my childhood turn-based card based combat MMORPG. Ooh, I love MMORPGs. Um You know, I don't really play much MMOs anymore, but I used to love like Ragnarok online, private servers. Um That was probably my favorite MMO I ever played, but I played all sorts. Does anyone remember Terra? Uh what was another good one? Um yeah, I liked Terra a lot. Um, I need to get back into Final Fantasy XIV because I really liked that one, but uh, I just didn't like paying $15 a month for it. Um, but part of me wonders if my account is deleted because I like canceled my subscription and it's been inactive for a while. Uh, they wouldn't delete my account, right? I mean, it's been like almost a year maybe, so maybe they did. I would be really upset though because I did get pretty far. Um... But yeah, Final Fantasy was fun. I used to play Flife on private servers. Does anyone remember that one? Oh, uh, what were some other good MMOs? Um, but yeah, Wizard 101 was never one that I played, but I probably would have liked it. Um, I don't really play many, like, card-based, um, games on PC, but I like playing, like, card games in real life. Uh, like Weiss Schwarz. I probably said that wrong. Weiss Weiss Schwarz, but you're, you're, I mean, you're in Germany, so you, you know how it's supposed to be said. I can't say it right. But, um, it's been a while since I've been to the card shop, so I haven't really played that one recently. You can play it on, uh, Tabletop Simulator, though. You can play it on Tabletop Simulator. That would be a good, that'd be a fun one to stream, but I don't know who I play with. PJ is getting up close and comfortable, or uncomfortable, rather. Why does he feel the need to be, like, right in front of the camera? He's in Sano mode. Yeah. Hello there, PJ. He just, he, he, I swear they, like, notice the camera and are interested in it because they, like, see that, like, the little light on it, you know? These little axolotls are insane. Also, hey, Neon Ricey! Or, sorry, Neoni Ricey. Welcome on in. I remember you. How have you been? It has been a long time. But I hope you've been well. Good to see you. Let's see. Hope you're hope you're well, Yuri. Thank you so much. I'm doing all right. Um, I've had some health struggles, but when when have I not? Um, just trying to do my best, gone bestie. He's perfectly comfortable. Yeah. Well, then he, he now you made him leave. You made him leave, Kuro. Let's see. I'm sick. Got a really bad cough for like a week now. Oh, that's not good. Do you have any medication you're taking for it? Bro, he left as soon as I said that. What the fuck? Yeah, he noticed. He re He's reading the chat. Yeah, PJ's actually a mod in chat. <laughs> he's a mod in chat. He's reading all your messages. But I'm sorry to hear you're sick. Um, That sucks. I've had an allergic reaction to my infusion, so that's not really the same thing, but like, it's been hard to like... Like, my voice has not been the same. Like, something happened with my voice. So I kind of understand. Oh, you ran out of cough syrup. That's not good. You better get some more. Do you have anyone who you can make run to the store for you? Like a little brother or something? That's what I do. Make my little brother do something for me. <laughs> That's funny. I can't even risen an axolotl. Aw, don't say that, Kuro. Aw, that's sad. Oh no! What? No, and my grandpa has COVID and me and him live together. Uh, do you have COVID then? Cause that kind of sounds like that's what it is. Oh no, that's not good. That's not good for either one of you. I hope you both get feeling better. Oh, your cough came from the flu, so you're trying not to catch it. Well, damn. Oh, your test was negative. Okay, well that, that much is good, but I'm sorry to hear that he's not doing well. And I hope you get feeling better too. That's always rough. Yeah, my friend, um, that reminds me, my friend had like a... My friend had just like a common cold or something. But he didn't take it easy. He went like on a hike and he like really pushed himself. So something happened and now his, his cold like developed into some sort of like infection. And like, yeah, it's scary if you don't take care of yourself after the cold or the flu that like it can actually 
kind of get some complications and turn a lot worse. Um, and he's been sick for like two months, maybe three. But anyways, I hope you get feeling better. Oh, you'll be okay? Okay, okay, I hope so. Um, but speaking of my friend, um, where did it go? Um, he was in Japan. Um, he's my Finnish friend. He's from Finland, but he likes to visit Japan a lot. Um, and I sent him a Christmas card. Because I sent, like, everybody I know Christmas cards last Christmas and, you know, just last year. And, um, so in return, he's, like, he was seeing this, um, idol group I really like called Seireki 13 -ya. Oh, you probably don't pronounce the 13 like that. Seireki. Anyways, um... So he got me a checky of my favorite idol from that group, Runo, as well as some Gochiusa stuff because we both like that series. So here, let me show you the picture actually. Okay, sorry, I'm kind of rambling, but I just wanted to share this. Let's see, I've been taking it easy. I'll be sleeping early soon. Okay, yeah, yeah, take care of yourself. It's important. But um, this is the picture. Um, I don't know if you can really see it. Maybe let me make it bigger. Oops, wrong one. Oh, what did I do? Ah, what have I done? Alright, so this is what my Finnish friend sent me from Japan. Um, which I think was really nice of him. And honestly, it made my day. Because I was having kind of a rough week. And then he sent me all this stuff. Um, and it really made me um, cheered up. So as you can see, kind of in the bottom middle. Um, there's a signature from Runo from Seireki. So he got like a picture with her. Well, not with her. Because like it's just a picture of her. But um, as you can see, she's in the photo and he got her autograph for me. And then he got like this um, fabric like poster of Chino from Gochiusa. He got me some like a keychain and a bunch of stickers and this little like acrylic stand of Sharo from Gochiusa. Yeah, he really is. I'm so happy. Like it made me really happy. He is the greatest of all time. Very thoughtful. Yeah, it was. Because I was like, oh, I wish I could go to Japan so bad. And I just really can't because I don't have an income and I'm sickly. So I was so jealous. But um, yeah, I was like, oh, I want to see Seireki because they might um, disband soon. Actually, they're going to they're talking about disbanding like this year. So I'm like, oh, I really need to get some merch or see them or something. So that was really nice of him to send me that, I think. I don't know. Just made my day. I really love- I really love that series, Gochiyusa. Um, and that just reminded me of that, because, yeah, he said he was sick for, like, two months. And, um, when you're- when you're, like, traveling, you- he didn't have travel insurance, so he couldn't get, like, any sort of, like, antibiotics or anything. So, if I ever travel, I think that's something I'll make sure to get, because that's kind of scary. To not be able to get healthcare if you need it. I mean, I guess I kind of already can't where I live, but it do be like that. But yeah, have, has anyone here seen seen Gochiusa? It's a really good series. And um, my my uh, VTuber was kind of well, not really like designed after her, but inspired in some ways by Chino, because I have like the two little tippies on my ribbons. Oh, that's so sweet of you, Ricey. I send you lots of love. Love is the best medicine next to hot chocolate. You're not wrong. That You're absolutely right, actually. Oh, thank you. Same to you. Same to you. Get yourself a warm drink. Oh, now I could go for like a cup of like hot tea. Although, actually, I don't really drink... Anyone else who doesn't really drink their um coffee or tea hot? Or even hot chocolate? Um, I just let it sit till it gets colder. I add like a bunch of cold milk or like ice to it because I don't know I kind of have cat tongue I, I, I have cat tongue because um anything that's hot it it hurts to drink or eat I'm really sensitive to that oh yeah it scalds your tongue too yeah yeah that's what I'm saying see I burnt my tongue trying to drink my hot chocolate today oh no I'm sorry to hear that what do you mean blasphemy what do you mean by that Kinos? It was barely boiling? Well, that can still be really hot. Like, for me, I wait till it's, like, room temperature or colder. I, I love, like, super cold drinks. Like, make sure they're, like, super icy cold. Well, I don't like ice because I don't like when the ice, like, touches my teeth. It makes me... Mmm, I don't like that. But I do like the drink to be really cold. I don't even heat up my food sometimes. 
Or if I do, like, I don't heat it up all the way. Because, like, I just don't... I don't know. I'd rather have it be room temperature than too hot. Let me take another drink of water. Oh, no. How did that turn out for you? Racy says, when I was really young, I licked a pole in the winter. Oh, my God. That would be awful. Wait, is that why your tongue is sensitive now? Because, because of back then? But see, how dare the water down... How dare they water down the drink slowly with bland liquid? Well, so what I do is I'm, I use like two um, times the amount of tea. Like, I use like twice as much tea leaves. Um, so that when I add the liquid or the ice, it will not be watered down. Because, yeah, I hate if it's watered down. No, I hate that. So I make it extra strong. What? My tongue got stuck and my sister had to run back home for help? Man, that is really scary. You're five or six years old? Damn. That'd be awful. How cold How cold out was it? Like, when that happened? Like, what was the temperature, if you remember? Well, I guess you wouldn't remember if it was that long ago. I don't... I'm trying to think of any dumb things I've done like that as a kid. I probably have, but then just forgot. Um, I think the craziest thing I did, though I, I didn't really do it, I, I did it to somebody. So, like, we had an ATV. And it was winter, so it was, like, really snowy. So there's just, like, snow everywhere, like, just, just co covered in snow. So we're like, hey, we could use, like, a trash bag as a sled. I don't know why we didn't just actually use a sled. And then, so what we did was we put my sister in the trash bag. My little sister. And this is probably why she didn't like me for a long time. And then we tie it to a rope. And then we tie the other side of the rope to the ATV. And we just drive around. And it's like just going everywhere in the snow. And yeah, um, yeah. That's probably why she hated my guts for like a decade. But that's like the craziest thing I've done in the winter as a kid. Um... What else did I do? I mean, I mean that doesn't really count though, because I did that to somebody. I wasn't the one who it happened to. <laughs> and yeah, you can, Kinos, can't you? Yeah, because it, like, because the the cold. Well, actually, I don't know the science behind it. But why did you bonk me, J Tim? Why did you jump? What? 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 Kinos, why did you bonk me? And what do you mean, May? What the fuck? What did I do? What did I say or do wrong? Also, damn, that's really cold. That's really cold, Neon. Why bonk me? My tongue was frozen on contact. They had to thaw it out with warm water. That sounds absolutely awful. I'm so sorry that happened to you. Why is everyone... Why is everyone bonking me? What did I do wrong? A bunch of bullies? Are you talking about me? Hey, I was just a kid. I didn't know any better. We thought it would be a fun prank. I didn't think it would hurt her or anything. I give ghost head pads for you. Thank you. Oh, you're talking about them being bullies. Okay, sorry, my bad. Yes, they are. They are bullies. Feel ashamed. Hope you guys feel ashamed. Um, I don't know. We did a lot of crazy shit as a kid that I'm surprised I never broke any bones or like got in serious trouble for. Like, we had, a, we had a pretty crazy childhood, and I, I'm lucky I didn't get, like, seriously hurt at any point. Um. I don't know. There's also, like, this, like, really, really tall hill. Like, I'm talking, like, you could have struggled to get a car up there, like, because it was just so steep. And me and my two cousins were like, hey, how about we all sit on one skateboard with no shoes on and go down the hill? And it was awful because, like, like... We, we couldn't stop it, so we put our feet down to stop the, the skateboard so we don't go, like, into, like, the road or something and get hit by a car. But it didn't really work because, like, we didn't have shoes on, so it just tore up our feet. It was awful. I don't know what we were thinking. We were some crazy kids. Let's see. I fell down some stairs head first when I was younger. Oof. Well, that explains a lot. Okay, I'm sorry. That was mean. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was mean. But, yeah, um... That sounds awful. What? Oh, your face was messed up for a couple months? Damn. I didn't realize it was that bad. What does that mean, Raz? Why did you do that? What do you mean, no, you're right? Aw. Aw, I'm sorry. I feel awful. 
Let's see, I think all kids up to a certain age make it their mission to die. I think you're not wrong. Really, it's like their hobby or something. I, I That's how I was. Oh, that's not good. I'm sorry to hear that, Cruel. Let's see, I fell down an unfurnished, unfinished stairway when I was a toddler. One was cement flooring at the bottom. Oof, that would hurt. I fell down a- I fell down a stairways too that was like not finished. It didn't have carpet on it. It was just like the wood. But the bottom wasn't cement. Thank god it wasn't cement. Um. But that probably explains a lot about me too, honestly. Not gonna lie. Um. I fell two meters into a ground face first. Lost my teeth? How did that happen, Kinos? Did somebody push you? Like, how did you fall? Like, did you slip on ice? Somehow dodged a massive hole down the middle? Damn. Well, that that's still awful, but I guess you got kinda lucky, didn't you, Ricey? Let's see, wow, you call us bullies and turn around and bully your chat. The cycle of abuse is real. I mean, no, I'm, I'm a nice girl. I, what? I, I'm nice. How deep was the hole, though? That's what I want to know. Like, how, 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 how far could you have fallen? Because if you already fell down a, a case of stairs, then the last thing you need is a hole at the bottom to fall through. You'll gladly be bullied by May. Aw, Kuro. Oh no, want to guess who would win in a fight? My mushy baby skull and concrete? I don't want you guys to fight. I don't, I don't want to know. I, I hope you're okay. Daijoubu. Heiki desu. Let's see, I also went high speed into a iron gate and cut my leg. A valuable lesson how speed makes even a blunt object a cutting one. Damn! Are, are you- are you Daijobu? Let's see, I inhaled a ton of smoke once when I went to make smoke rings with a paper cone at a campfire, and it made me cough for a month, and to this day, smoke upsets me respectfully. Wait, what do you mean? J10, what was wrong with what I said? Like... Because... Oh, wait, no, they said there wasn't a hole at the bottom. Wait, no, no, they said they dodged a massive hole in the middle. Yeah, so... Okay, there's something I'm not understanding here, sorry. Don't bonk me, I'm sorry, I'm Baka. Let's see, it was a staircase here, an unfinished one with a hole down... Oh, down the middle on one of the sides. Okay, I was confused. I thought you meant, like, there was, like, a pitfall at the end of the... Okay, that's why I was confused. I thought you meant there was, like, a pitfall at the end of the of the stairs. And I'm like, what? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, very steep. Damn, that sucks. Yeah, Sky, I'm, I'm kind of the same way with smoke. Like, it makes me really sick and bothers me. But then I feel bad because, like, you walk by a smoker and then you start coughing. And it makes you feel, like, self-conscious. Because, like, I'm not trying to make them feel bad, you know? It's like, just like, it actually bothers me though. But then like, you know, there's like those kind of people who like exaggerate just to make the smoker feel bad. I was like, oh, no, I swear I'm not exaggerating. It just actually is, is awful for me. All right, bonk JTIM. Yeah, we should. What doesn't kill us make us cyborgs. Yeah, I am a cyborg. I, I can't wait till I can get some more like augmentations or whatever it's called because um I have a lot wrong with me, so... The pacemaker helped, but I need some more. Now I want a bonk? No, 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 don't, don't, don't. You know, a few years ago, I got like this surgery on... Um... Wait, what? Ikatu, why? Ikatu, why? And oh, thank you, Ricey, that's nice of you to say. Um, I just meant like physically, like physically my sicknesses, but um... Yeah, I got, like, this, um, surgery a few years ago where they, like, stick something up your nose into, like, the bone canal that, like, connects to your ear. And then they, like, inflate this balloon to break the bone to make it bigger. Because mine was too small, so, like, I would get congestion and I'd get, like, really dizzy and lightheaded. But, um, I was thinking, like, what if you could have, like, just, like, a electric, like, set of, like, tubes or, like, metal tubes in your head instead. And then that way you could never have any congestion. You could just be a robot. Like, I'm already a cyborg, I should get one of those. I don't know, I was just thinking about that, but that's probably not even possible. Oh, that's nice of you, I wish for your health though. Oh, thank you, that's very nice of you. Bluetooth powered emoto. I actually am, yeah, my pacemaker has uh, Bluetooth compatibility. 
um because it has to connect to like my phone because my phone like uh sends like transmissions to my electrocardiologist you love hitting women what the heck it to get out of here what why are you a woman abuser may get a turn into cyborg from teen titans i'm i i haven't seen it but i'm familiar with what you're talking about that'd be cool so your body would eventually build around the synthetic material and would create an infection? Oh. What? That happens with breast implants? The body is great at fighting foreign objects? Wait, well, why doesn't that happen with my pacemaker? I mean, I believe you. I just didn't know that was a thing. You should sync your pacemaker to Spotify, have your heartbeat to the beat. That would be really cool, but I don't know if I can. Oh my god, that would actually be awful. I I, I feel like that would be really not good for me. But it would be cool if I could. Um, I do wish, you know, what, what is the thing called that, like, when it reads your heart, it's called, like, the EKG or whatever? Um, it sends those to my electrocardiologist, but it doesn't let me view them. And it's like, why can't I see them if it's me? It's my heart. Like, why would it make it so my electrocardiologist can see it, but I can't see it? That's not cool. I think it should let me... And it doesn't, like, tell me my beats per minute, either. Um, I have to use, like, one of those things you put on your finger for it. Let's see. Sink your pacemaker to through the fire and flames. No! Your pacemaker is not a replacement. Um. Oh, oh, is that what you're talking about? Like, the difference between that and the breast implant? Let's see. Well, I don't know how pacemakers work, but they probably found a way to work around that. Yeah, um, I do think that, like, your body does build, like, kind of, like scar tissue around it though because it's like it's not meant to be here so it like kind of builds a tissue around it to protect itself but that's why um it's not good to get a pacemaker at a young age because uh like 10 years from now maybe less they're gonna have to cut me open again and replace the battery and every time they do that there's going to be more scar tissue and every time they do that um there's going to be more risk of complications because of the scar tissue so that's why they're like at first they're like well, at first they offered me a pacemaker in 2019, and I said no. I can live without it. I didn't want one. But then they're like, then I got one last March, and now I'm like kind of in a bad spot because I'm going to have to have like multiple of those surgeries for the rest of my life. Um, whereas if I was like an older person, like say I was like 70 or 80 when I got it, then it wouldn't be as much of a concern, you know? Oh, that's what you're talking about? Scar tissue in your nose would be bad. It would defeat the whole purpose. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking with that. Also, what is wrong with this axolotl? Are you guys seeing this? What the hell? I can't tell if the camera froze or if he's just being really still. Scar Tissue is a great song. <laughs> Let's see. Body will only fight parts that replace it. In this case, the pacemaker is not replacing your heart, skin, or any organ. Therefore, the body can't really fight it. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Interesting. Okay, so it's just replacing... I think you are right. Yeah, and I see. I think you're onto something. Interesting. Okay, what is wrong with this axolotl? Why is he so gormless? What the hell is going on with this axolotl? Arigato. May Volex H U G. Oh, hey, it's Gurng. Welcome on in. The one and only Gurng. The one and only. Welcome on in. Thank you so much for the sub. That's very nice of you. How have you been? Wait, what? You were just making that up? I thought you were for real. I think you were right. Ricey, Ricey was accidentally right. Let's see. I woke up late. Oh, what time is it for you? I know. I know. I I always ask you, like, your time zone, and I always forget. I'm so sorry. Like, I know where you're from. I just forget how many hours ahead you are. The axolotl telling you, Mom said it's his turn to play. Well, he's not getting a turn. No, poor axolotl. Oh, that reminds me. Um... Uh, I have over 700 followers now, so I need to do the flip. Okay, guys, I'm gonna record the flip sometime this week. I'm gonna- I'm gonna do a flip, and I'll post it on Twitter, I swear. On Gamer. Let's see. No, I wasn't making it up, but it wasn't an educated guess either. Well, I think you are right! Let's see, it's okay, I don't remember time zone well either. It's 10.40ish, am. 
Wait, that's called waking up late? 10.40 for you is waking up late? When do you normally wake up? That's like, that's like early for me. Let's see, I'm really good at half knowing what I'm talking about. I wish I could say that. I don't know what I'm talking about at all. I, I know like 0% of what I'm talking about. Maybe 1%. Gurung is living in the future. Yeah, for me, what time did I wake up today? I think I woke up at like 12. Like noon. A couple weeks ago, I was waking up at 9pm. Oh man, I know that feel. I know that feel. It's, it's awful. I hate waking up that late, but I hate sleeping all day, but I just do it anyways. Oh, I underestimate myself. Thank you. That's nice of you. Wait, what? You've been waking up at 6am? What do you do at 6am? Let's see, I believe a pacemaker is like the equivalent of how some people just live with a bullet in their gut. Oh yeah, that's true! I've heard of people who do that. Can't remove it because have to dig deep for it. Yeah, yeah. What? You love it? Oh, wait, do you like work night shift or something? Let's see, I just finished a real hard project and I'm pushing it up and got it validated. I'm finally done with that. Oh, congrats! Good for you! Good job! Let's see, game through the night and no one bugs me. Oh, okay, that's a fair point, that's a fair point. If you're an introvert, then it's a good thing. Let's see, I gotta take care of my teeth now and get to bed. Oh, okay, take care, Ricey. Let's see, hopefully my throat is feeling better tomorrow. I hope so too. Take care and stay hydrated, it was good seeing you. You too, thank you so much for dropping by, I really appreciate it. Let's see, I can only do it on like three day weekends. Oh yeah, cause- wait, so what is your normal shift that you work? Like, you work in the day, right? So y you can only- Man, that'd be rough on me though to keep changing it, like, to stay up all night on the weekends and then, like, weekdays have to be awake in the day. That'd be rough on me. I don't know. I don't know how you guys do it. Normal shift is 1 p.m. to 8 p.m.? Okay, okay, that makes a little more sense, because then you're not waking up as early as, like, most people. Well, that's good, because then you can avoid rush hour. 1 p.m. to 8 p.m., that's not too bad. What kind of work do you do again? If it's okay to ask. If that's if that's too personal, then don't answer. I just forgore. I think you told me before, but I forgore. Yeah, no traffic jam. Oh, hey, FTW! Welcome on in! Thank you so much for the lurk! I hope you're doing well. Oh, that's nice of you. Still hoping you get better soon, May. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. My voice is kind of off. I can't- I don't know if you can tell. My voice is kind of off. But, um... I think I'm mostly okay. Like, I, I don't have too bad of a cough anymore, and I can, like, actually breathe now, so that's good. I can actually breathe. Let's see, I avoid rush hour anyway since I ride my bike. Oh yeah, I forgot. That's so healthy. That's so good. Oh yeah, I forgot. Oh man, I'm so sorry, Kuro, because you told me that. And then I just completely forgot. I'm so sorry. I, you, you did tell me that. That's on me. But yeah, that's good. Do they let you like read a book or something there while you're there when it's not busy? You know, I never understood why like some jobs it's like okay to read a book. But you can't be on your phone. It's like, I'm not paying attention either way. Like, if I'm on a book or what if I'm reading a book on my phone, why does it matter, you know? Why does it matter? Maybe that's why I don't have a job. I wish I could ride a bike. I can't ride a bike. I have balance issues. I fall over. I have coordination issues. But yeah, thank you, Gurung. Me too. I'm, I'm happy. I'm slowly getting better. Slowly but surely. Oh, you can watch anime there? What? That's so cool. That's nice. Hell yeah. HR people make the rules, I guess. Yeah. Like, do you, like, wear headphones or you just watch it out? Like, do you just, like, blast it? That... Speaking of boomers, Raz, I hate how boomers always listen to their phone, like, super loud. Like, they'll watch, like, some, like, TikTok reel super loud in public. With their phone blasting. It's like, have you not heard of earphones or headphones? Like, why? I don't want to hear whatever you're watching or whoever you're talking to. Why do you- why do you just blast the, vid the video volume so loud? I don't understand. But yeah. 
book is normal, intelligent, and good. Phone, not paying attention, and TikTok, bad. But, but, I mean, either way, you're not doing your job. Oh, okay, you at least use headphones. Thank God, I was gonna judge you if you didn't, girl. I was about to judge you. Busting my fave anime waifu. <laughs> and if someone comes up to the office, I take them off to help them. Yeah, that that's fine. Like, in my opinion, that should be fine and allowed. Like, I don't see the issue with that. Like, uh, say you had, like, some really important job where, like, you needed to be attentive 24-7, like, I don't know, like, you're a doctor in the ER or something. Like, I can understand not watching anime then. But if you're just literally, like, like, just, like, a receptionist, like, or... I, I don't know, really depends on what you're doing. I think that it's okay to have some downtime because it's just not possible for you to be productive eight hours a day. Like, they've done studies, like you just literally cannot be productive that full eight hours because that's just not in human nature. Let's see, I'm finally getting results on my fitness goal. 15 out of 40 pounds lost towards my goal, easy. Oh, that's awesome, Crow, congrats, good for you. Do they let you, do they let you, like, um, have a free gym membership since you work there? Can you, like, you don't have to pay? You can just, well, I guess it's a fitness center, not a gym, but, like, same thing, right? Um, that's really cool. Good for you, though. Let's see, my father have no sense of sound. He tried to connect Bluetooth earphone. It didn't connect, but he didn't notice. And everyone can hear his music, so I kept knocking his back to tell him. Oh, <laughs> uh, he gets a pass, though, because he didn't realize. He didn't realize. At least he tried, right? At least he tried. Let's see, I can't really sit down. Oh yeah, you said you've been really busy with your job, huh, Kinos? I bet I can hit it by the end of summer. I bet you can too, Kuro. I bet you could. Just keep working at it. Good job. Tell that to HR, May. Well, yeah, HR doesn't give a shit, but that's just my opinion. It's pretty convenient to get paid to work out. Yeah. That, I'd be a lot more motivated to work out if I got paid to work out. I, I need to hit the gym more often. Um, I've been walking there, but I need to actually like start like lifting weights and like doing something more serious. I want, I'm trying to lose weight as well. But it's hard. It's really hard. I don't even eat very much, but like once you gain the weight, it's like hard to lose it. You know what I'm saying? Once you gain it, it's hard to lose it. Even if you have, like, the same habits as before, it's, like, stubborn. I don't know why. Because, like, I don't even eat that much. But I still can't lose weight. Rip. But, yeah, that, that's good. I'm happy for you. I should probably go to the gym tonight. Maybe I'll go to the gym after stream. Yeah, because, like, you can have, like, the same habits for forever. But then once you gain that weight, then it's hard to get rid of. Even if you keep your habits the same. Which, it doesn't really make sense to me, because it's like... Like, I'm eating as much as I did when I was like 100 pounds, so like, what's the issue? What's the issue? I don't get it. But, I don't know, probably someone smarter than me can make sense of it. I'm gonna take another drink. It's mostly dietary, yeah. I think the issue is like, I'll have like one meal a day. Like, I won't even eat that much. I'll have like one meal, maybe two meals. And... They won't even be that big. But my issue is this, I'll drink like a coffee which has like th three spoonfuls of sugar and a shit ton of milk. So that's my issues, I'm drinking all of my calories. And like, it it's not that I'm really eating that much, it's just like I have like my really sugary like latte, you know? Let's see, you can exercise a ton and get little results, this took me a while to truly understand. Well, I might have to have you help me because, I mean, even if I... I don't know, I guess I could just cut out the coffee, but I still feel like I should exercise just because, like, it's good to build muscle, you know? Yeah, and then the more muscle you have, the more fat you'll burn just by existing. But I don't really have, like, any muscle. Believe it or not. I struggle to lift, like, 40 pounds. I think 40 pounds is the max I can lift. Like, unironically, like... I literally can't lift more than 40 pounds. But see, that doesn't mean you shouldn't exercise. Oh yeah, no, you're right, you're right. I really should exercise. Even if even if I was at my goal weight, I still should exercise just to build muscle and like bone density. Because bone density is apparently really important, especially for women, because um when you get older, your bones get like more brittle and prone to breaking. 
but say it just means that if you are and you're not getting results and you gotta change your eating habits. Yeah, no, you're not wrong. I need to I need to cut out the coffee. I need to cut out the coffee. But see, apparently biologist theory is that if fats is a resource that our body don't want to give up, causing because during good old caveman era, extra help ensured that the body have something to survive by when food is scarce. Oh, extra fat. Okay, I got kind of confused for a second there. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I just- I want to build some muscle so I can actually, like, lift things, you know? Because I try and clean, like, the axolotl tanks. Um. And that's, like, how many gallons? That's, like, 60 gallons of water, almost. And, um, it's a lot to carry, like- you have to carry the bucks of water to refill it and to empty it. So I need to get stronger because I always have to ask somebody else to help me. Let's see, our bodies are extremely good at keeping fats. They're too efficient. You're right. They're too efficient. It's bad. Too bad in modern era we have abundance of food. Yeah, yeah. Like if it was like a long time ago when we were actually like had to like s scavenge for our food and like we were starving then it would work out but it it doesn't really work out nowadays because they put a lot of calories and everything well that high fructose corn syrup as well is no good let me check something let's see i just recently cut ice cream out a little bit of me died that day oh oh yeah, it's it's rough, but it's for the best in the long run. And I mean, maybe you can still allow yourself a little bit of it, like every now and then. But um, yeah, it's good to not have much of that. Let's see, we struggle to shake off the fat instead. Yeah, you're not wrong. You know, I used to really like ice cream, but nowadays I'm not a big fan. Like, I don't know, it's like a little bit too rich for me. So I don't really have much ice cream because it's like, it's like too sugary, I say as I put three teas three spoonfuls of sugar in my coffee but yeah yeah it's worth it for your health i'd rather not i'd rather just not have any because i have zero self-control well hey to be honest at least you recognize that and you did something about it that's that's better than a lot of people you know if you if you recognize you know i don't have the self-control to have this in moderation then i have to cut it out completely then that's that's mature let's see i eat yogurt ice cream it's less thick Oh, I haven't heard of that, actually. I wonder, is it healthier for you? I mean, it's probably still not good for you, but it's probably healthier. Let's see, I just can't put bad stuff in my kitchen or I will eat it. You know, that's how I stopped eating snacks. Um, I used to eat a lot of snacks um, years ago, but in recent years, I really don't. And the reason is why I just don't buy them. And I'm too lazy to go to the store. So it's like, if I don't buy them and I don't have them, how can I eat them, right? I just don't eat them. Yeah, because it's hard to it's hard to do it in moderation, but if you just don't buy it, then it's, it's best that way. Let's see, it's more popular in Asia, I guess. I haven't checked the health aspect of that. Huh. That's interesting. You know, yogurt ice cream sounds like it could be good. I like custard. Custard is like, if I'm going to have ice cream or custard, I would pick custard because I, th I think it just has a better texture and taste. But, um, probably still a lot of calories, though. I don't, I don't know. Probably is. I'd have to check on that, too. Let's see, my next mission is to start eating brown rice instead of white. Why is that? What's the difference? Yeah, custard is good. But what what's the difference between the two rices? I don't... Does it... Is, is one better than the other? Does it taste different? Hmm. I'm gonna have to look into that. Because, yeah, I just have, like, the white sticky rice, usually. Rice is really good, though. Rice goes with everything. Could eat rice all day. What are these axolotls doing? He's swimming on the camera. Yeah, I'm trying to... I don't know. I didn't really set any, like, New Year's goals because I knew I wasn't going to keep them. But I don't think it has to be New Year's to make good goals for yourself and try and set some. You know, it's never too late. It's never a bad time so maybe i'll try and like 
yeah i'll probably go to the gym tonight after um after i finish stream try and eat healthier too let's see since it's a complex carbohydrate that gives you energy throughout the day instead of white rice which gives you a big burst of energy that fades quickly oh i didn't know that i didn't know that huh interesting See, there's a stereotype that Asian eat rice, but some cultures in Asia rare, rarely eat rice in their daily diet. Oh, really? I didn't know that because I thought, yeah, I kind of believed the stereotype. But, I mean, I really like rice. I, I would probably love to live over there and eat a bunch of rice every day. But, um, what are the countries that don't have many, have much rice in their diet? Because I know, like, Japan does and probably China, but I don't know, I don't know where else what else they eat i need to, i need to try more variety of food honestly i need i need to kind of expand my tastes let's see brown rice is generally healthier okay well i didn't know that well does it taste similar or is the taste very different because if it tastes similar there's no reason not to switch over i wonder if i could do that let's see it's very diverse in china alone there are many regions they usually eat noodles, buns, or dumplings. Oh yeah, I forgot about the noodles. And the dumplings. Mmm. I could go for some of those, like, meat pork buns that they, like, steam. Ooh, those are really good. My friend used to make those. She was so good at making those. Ooh, I want, I want one of those now. Let's see. I could live in an Asian household and cuisine. Let's see. I could live in an Asian household and cuisine if not for fish. Yeah, same here. I'm not big on fish. Like, I like sushi, but I don't like fish. Does that make sense? Because, like, sushi is just, like, it's a complete package. It's just a little bit different. But, like, if you serve me, like, fish soup or, like, just plain fish, even if it has seasonings on it, I probably wouldn't like it. Like, I don't know. I just wouldn't eat it. I'm picky like that. Let's see. I'm not sure about the taste since I've only had white rice. I'd imagine brown rice isn't as flavorful, though. Well, we'll have to both try it. We'll have to both try it and see what we think. See, many years ago, my parents went to China and our neighbors asked why we eat so much rice. We asked them, why don't you eat rice? <laughs> That's funny. I mean, I mean, you make a good point. Let's see, I hate fish and sushi. Yeah, I really, I, well, here's the thing. I don't like that kind of like sea taste, like that fishy sea taste, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I don't eat fish, but sushi doesn't really have that. And I think the reason why is sushi isn't actually raw, it's smoked, um, which I didn't know that. I thought it, like it, like it's, I mean, it's pretty much raw, but they do smoke it. So it gives it a certain flavor, which is why I like sushi. Um, but yeah, bad sushi will be bad. Like, anyone would agree with that. But, um, I think you do just have to have good sushi. Maybe you should try somewhere nice sometime because, um, it is really good. Even though I don't like fish, so I, I feel like you just have to have the right one. Let's see, I'm okay with fish, but it really depends on the type of fish and also how it's prepared. Yeah, it really depends. I'm just really picky, so I just say I don't like any of it. But to be honest, there's probably some way you could prepare that I would eat it and like it. I just haven't had that yet. I just haven't tried it yet. My dad would say, eat the fish, it makes you smarter. And I'd be like, I guess I'll have to be dumb then. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I don't know. I, I just can't make myself eat it. Steamed fish in my area is tasty. Ooh, yeah, I bet so. If you're into fish, if you're if you're picky like me, I'm not sure, but I want to travel to Japan, so I guess I had better get over that, right? Because it's rude to not eat what you're served, so I guess I had try to not be so picky. Tuna is okay. Tuna is okay. I like to add a lot of like, so I make tuna with a lot of cayenne pepper, like a lot, a lot, like make like a shit ton. And that makes it really good to me. But if you just have tuna and just mayo, like, mm, that's kind of a, I'm, I'm a pass on that. That's, that's a no from me. But if you add a lot of cayenne pepper, it's a lot better in my opinion, which I respect. But I've never tried it with macaroni and cheese. That sounds kind of odd. Let's see, except that fish head, there will always be some fishy taste, no matter how you cook, unless you cook in some strong soup like curry. Oh yeah, you're right, you're right. That's what I don't like. Wait, what? Yeah, you put tuna and mayo- What do you mean? Tuna and mayo is like normal. What do you mean you would die? 
How else do you eat tuna if not with mayo? Yeah, you take the tuna, you drain the water out, you mix it with some mayo, and then you put a ton of cayenne pepper on there. That's the missing ingredient that a lot of people don't get. They're just like, mm, just tuna and mayo is good enough for me. Nope. Add the cayenne pepper on there. Add a shit ton of it. Yes, it is very double plus quino. Like, that one's okay with me because it doesn't really taste fishy. So I, I will eat that. That one's okay. It's not my favorite, but it's fine. But, um, definitely needs the cayenne pepper. Anyone who ever tries tuna, next time you have to try it with cayenne pepper because I said so and you're listening to me. So you have to do it just so you can report back. And if you don't like it, that's okay, but at least you tried it. Sorry, I was taking a drink of water. What do you mean? What is that? What is that reaction, Kuro? What do you mean by that? You would die? To no know for me? How else do you prepare the- You're putting that shit with macaroni and cheese? That's weirder than the- What I said. That's even weirder than what I said. You're insane -o mode. You guys are insane. Absolutely lost your minds. <clears throat> I'm gonna take another cough drop. Nuh-uh. Yeah! Yeah! And I'm always right. I'm always right. <laughs> Wait, what? Why does my video keep freezing? I can't understand it. Anyways, um... What else was I gonna talk about? Oh, yeah! Wait, what? May, aren't you a white girl? What are you doing adding something even spicier to the already spicy substance that's mayonnaise? Mayonnaise is not spicy! What are you on? What are you talking about? Mayonnaise is not spicy? And honestly, cayenne pepper is not that spicy. It's not the kind of spice that irritates you. It's like the good kind of flavorful spice. Like, I don't know, like, cayenne pepper does not... Like, I'm bad with spicy food, but it's not too hot for me. It's not bad at all. I don't know. You're insane, no mode. Yo, she valid. <laughs> Thank you, Kuro. Thank you for backing me up. Hmm. Um. Well, I might wrap things up in about 10 minutes here, so. But I do want to say that I did, um, I am planning something for the 16th, and I am going to plan something for the 14th, so hope I'll see you guys then. Um, but I'll, I'll still st I'll still stay for a little bit. Just yeah. Hope to see you guys next week though. Let's see. Microdoses Carolina Reaper extract. What is that? What's Carolina Reaper extract? I'm not leaving just yet. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up so you weren't you weren't scared when I left. Cause I don't know about you, but I I got abandonment issues, so I need some sort of warning. Um. But yeah, I don't know what that is, Sky. but I don't know if I want to know. I don't think I would like it. Oh, it's the spiciest pepper in the world, apparently? Wait, I thought that was the ghost pepper. Is it- well, what's the ghost pepper ranking, then? If not number one. It can kill your taste buds, like, like, permanently? Wait, like, actually permanently? Oh, it used to be the spiciest. Well, why are you taking that? Are you some sort of masochist? What what is wrong with you, Sky? Oh, it tastes like shit? What why would you take it then if it's if it's not even the hottest and it's just too hot to enjoy and it tastes like shit, then why why why? Yes? Was that to what Raz said? So you can't have abandonment issues if I don't let myself get attached. Oh, that's sad. That's sad, Kuro. Reaper was bred to be spicy, not actually have flavor. I don't like stuff like that. I don't like stuff like that. It's about the flavor, you know? Let's see. I'm not sure it's permanent damage. But it definitely would hurt. Oh, okay, okay. What is wrong with you then, Sky? What the heck? Like, I like cayenne pepper, but it's not too hot for me. Um, I'm not really good with spicy food, but I like the flavor, you know? It's a yes, but it's better than the alternative, in my opinion. What's the alternative? 
Oh, you're talking about abandonment issues still? Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, you're not wrong. I thought- I thought we were talking about peppers again. Sorry, my bad. I- I, I can't follow conversations on Baka. Well, I hope you're doing okay. Now I'm concerned. Um, let me check something real quick. You're good? Oh, <laughs> I just feel like I always, like, forget what I talk about and then I, like, um... I, like, lose track of the conversation and I feel embarrassed. Sorry, I was just checking something. Um... But, yeah. If you guys have any suggestions for what you want to see for my February 16th stream... I'll probably do a raffle for a desk mat, and then, um... I don't know, maybe karaoke, but it depends on if my voice is doing better, because like I said, my voice has been kind of dead lately. But yeah, definitely tune in on the 16th if you're free. Let's see, what day is that? I think that's Friday? Hell yeah. Friday, Friday, homo along on a Friday night. Just remember, May streaming. Let's see, I have very little... To complain about don't be i'm chilling oh okay well well that's good i hope you're doing well overall let's see so what day is valentine's um that's two days earlier so that's wednesday i should be free then yeah it'd be cool to do like a hand cam with like um make a valentine's card for you guys or something like, like someone previously suggested this stream. And then I'll probably stream on... Well, that's next week. I'm gonna try and stream either tomorrow or Saturday uh, this week. And then I'll just post my schedule for next week on Sunday on Twitter and my website. Hell yeah, discount chocolate day coming up soon. Yeah, yeah, I love the discount chocolates after Valentine's. Never buy them. Never buy them before the 14th. Always wait till they're on sale. Let's go! Yeah, yeah! Let's see, Valentine card, nice! Yeah, I think I'll do like a hand cam and like make a Valentine card for you guys. I would've made chocolates or something, but that would be a disaster waiting to happen. And my mom probably wouldn't be happy about if I ruined her kitchen. Um... Because I'm like, oh, I told my mom, I'm like, hey, mom, I keep getting these HelloFresh um, sponsorships. Can I cook one in the kitchen and do a stream? And she's like, no, I don't want my kitchen showcased to everybody on the internet. They'll see how filthy it is. And I'm like, it's really not that filthy. And she's like, no, no, they'll judge us. And uh, so she doesn't want me to cook in the kitchen. So, yeah, there goes the, I, there goes the cooking stream idea. Maybe when I get my own place someday, but... Yeah, I thought that, I thought it was funny how she was like so weird about it. Let's see. Um, I w I wish we have that in my area. Good chocolate are all imported and super expensive. You know, I don't really like American chocolate candies that much. Um, there's just something about the milk chocolate here that's off. I prefer dark chocolate. Let's see. I look forward to Valentine's stream. Axolotl face chocolate making stream. No, we're not gonna make chocolate. We're not gonna make chocolate, but. Um, we'll have a stream. We'll have a stream on Valentine's and it'll be fun. And then we'll have a stream on the Friday after on the 16th and that'll be fun too. Let's see, Reed, kitchen is my private space. Ain't no way. Yeah, that's literally like what she was saying. Like, I, I'm i thankful that I've always grown up in a clean house. Like, okay, my room was messy because that's like my personal space. But my mom has always kept like the rest of the house clean. But she's always like, oh no, it's so dirty. You can't show anyone. I'm like, it's really not. Like... If this is dirty, like, what do you think of my room? Let's see, Axololi Alchemist poisons her fans in Valentine's Day disaster. Hell yeah, I'm gonna steal that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna copy that. Let me write that down right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make that my uh, stream title. Thank you. I just stole it, and I'm not gonna give you credit. But see, you just don't get spice. It's a lifestyle. I don't- I don't know, Sky. I don't know if it is. American chocolate is low-tier chocolate. I agree. It's really bad. It's honestly not that great. 
Let's see, it's 3 a.m. I must sleep now. For work tomorrow, glad to see you back and catch a stream. Have fun, guys. Oh, okay, have a good night, Tomboy Tamer. Thank you for hanging out with us. Hope you hope you sleep well. Let's see, does your mom check your room out occasionally? Um, kind of, but not really. Like, she doesn't really like come in here. But like some like today I was feeling really sick, so I'm like, hey, can you bring me a Gatorade and some medication? So she did come to my room for like that instance, but normally she's not in here, no. Um, but she did say my bathroom was disgusting and she made me feel bad. She said it was filthy, so yeah. I wish my mom kept the rest of the place clean. That's funny. I am the bone of my spice. However you pronounce that is my body and hot sauce is my blood. I have eaten over a thousand peppers, unknown to sweetness nor known to sour. Have withstood the pain to consume many ghost peppers, yet this tongue will never please anyone. So, as I pray, unlimited spice works. That's, that's a good one. Did you come up with that? Let's see. It's okay. I give you permission to steal my quote. Oh, thank you, girl. You're so sweet. Yeah, it's a, it's a good one. It a good one. Um. Alright, well, I'm gonna wrap things up, but I'll see you guys next week. Well, I'll see you, okay, either tomorrow or, um, Saturday, or probably around the same time as tonight. Um, 5 p.m. Pacific time, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard time. Come Sunday, I'll post a schedule on my website as well as Twitter. Because I'll definitely be streaming on the 14th and 16th, but I'm gonna try and plan some other days as well. But yeah, thank you everyone for spending time with me. I had a really fun evening. It was good catching up with you. I'm gonna probably go to the gym now. But um, yeah, wish me luck. I'm gonna do my gum bestie. Let's see. Bye, mate. I'm gonna miss you, gang. Bye, Ika too. You have a good night. Thank you again for your support. Let's see. Bye, mate. Thank you for the stream. No, thank you for coming. I really appreciate having you here. All right. Well, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys soon. I'll see you guys um tomorrow or Saturday. So stay tuned. Stay tuned for more May streams soon. Let's see. See ya, Gurng. Let's see. Thanks for the stream. No, thank you. Have a good one. All right. I'll catch you guys later. I'm going to switch to the end credits um, screen. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.